In this video, we're actually going to be checking out another model that was just released by DeepSeek, Janus Pro. So this is a multimodal model that's directly competing with Dolly from OpenAI and, you know, other image models out there. We're going to be testing out a bunch of different prompts on it and seeing if it's really worth it. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out and ensures you won't miss any of the cool tools and tips we've got coming your way. Janus Pro actually comes in two versions, one with 7 billion parameters and another with 1.3 billion. For this demo, I'm going to be using the 7 billion parameter model. So, this right here is the hugging face page for the Janus Pro 7B model. As we know, there are two versions and I'll be working with the Janus Pro 7B. It's mentioned right here, so let's scroll down and open up this space. Now, as you can see, there are two different modes available. Hugging face might lag a little, which is pretty normal. It happens often, but we do have two modes here. The first one is multimodal understanding, where we can provide it with images and test how well it understands them. The second is text to image generation, which we're also going to try out. Now, the first task is actually to convert a formula into latex code, but I already have one of my own, so I'll go ahead and open that up. I'm going to ask the model to convert it into latex and make sure it's ready to use. Let's see how it does. And don't worry about the delay, this usually happens on hugging face while it waits for a GPU to become available. Alright, so as you can see, we've now acquired the GPU. The model has successfully converted our mathematical expression into latex code, and here it is. I'll just copy it and paste it into an online latex viewer to check the result. After entering the code, let's go ahead and render it. And yes, this is the same formula. As you can see, it was able to generate the code pretty quickly and accurately. Next up, we're going to check out the model's image detection capability. So, I'll go ahead and upload an image of the Python logo and ask the model, can you identify the logo and tell me what it is? All right, I've submitted the question, so now let's see how it responds. And as you can see, the model actually identified the logo correctly. It recognized it as belonging to the Python programming language. Not only that, but it also described the logo as consisting of two intertwined snake-like shapes and even provided some additional details about it. Now, we've got another example of image understanding. This time, we have a Python code snippet that finds prime numbers up to a certain limit. So, let's take a look at it. What we're going to do next is ask the AI model to analyze the image, tell us what's written in it, and explain its meaning. All right, let's go ahead and give it the prompt. So what's happening here is that the model is actually breaking down the code into different sections based on what it sees. For each section, it has described what's written and also provided an explanation of what it does. And at the end, it even gave an overall summary, stating that the code is designed to check if a number is prime or not, which is completely accurate. So yeah, the model did pretty well on this test too. Now, we're going to test out the model's text-to-image generation capability. So. Let's go ahead and input the prompt. This one's pretty interesting. It describes a modern software engineer sitting at a sleek wooden desk, working on a laptop with some extra fun details added in. Let's see what the model comes up with. All right, here are the images it has generated. Let me try to pull them up in full screen. Yeah, here they are. The images are actually pretty detailed, but the faces aren't drawn accurately. So, I wouldn't say the results are perfect, but considering how cost-effective these DeepSeek models are to run, this is still pretty impressive. Let's dive into what makes Janus Pro stand out. According to its developers, the secret sauce lies in its optimized training techniques, the use of expanded datasets, and scaling up to a much larger model size. When it comes to benchmarks for multimodal understanding, Janus Pro has set a new standard. It not only surpassed its competitors in average performance against large language model parameters, but also took the lead in instruction following capabilities for image generation. However, 
These benchmarks highlight how well it follows instructions rather than the overall quality of the generated images. Training such a powerhouse wasn't cheap or easy. The 1.5 billion parameter version was trained in just seven days using 16 nodes powered by NVIDIA A100 GPUs, while the 7 billion parameter version required 14 days on 32 nodes. The total cost? Around $120,000 significantly lower than what training models like DALLE3 would typically cost. Of course, no model is perfect. Janus Pro does have its limitations. The input resolution maxes out at 384 by 384 pixels, which limits its ability to capture fine details in OCR tasks. Similarly, its text-to-image generation struggles with complex details, such as accurately rendering faces due to the low resolution. Scaling up the resolution could potentially resolve these challenges in the future. Does this mean China is leaving the US behind in the AI race? Instead of viewing it as a competition, let's focus on the bigger picture. As Yan LeCun, Meta's chief AI scientist, wisely stated, open research and open source models ensure that these advancements benefit everyone. I'd love to hear your take. Do you see this as a breakthrough or do the limitations hold it back? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button so we can explore the latest in AI together. See you in the next one.